What's up, guys? It's uh, Southern Comfort Vlogs here. Some of you may know of, may know me as ZKiller003 after my gaming channel on YouTube. Link's going to be in the description. Be sure to go check that one out. Um, and subscribe if you like what you see. And if you've got any tips on what I could do to better myself, be sure to write those in the comments. I will be reading all... I do take note to all comments. But this is my new vlogging channel because I've got a few vlogs up on the um, gaming channel. I was going to, you know, use it for both vlogs and gaming, but something wrong with my cell phone decided to go AWOL and delete every single bit of information I had on it. And I may or may not have forgotten the password and all for my z killer account i know just typical youtube stuff right and plus i don't have that good of a memory but this is going to be my pet music and car vlog channel it's going to be like almost like a daily well i say daily more of a weekly and monthly sort of thing i'm going to try to put out as many vlogs as i can in a week but uh, this is going to be one on the box on the eastern box turtle habitat. Let me get a good view of it from the front. Here, let me shut the door. That's it right there. It used to be a little tent that Boy Scouts used. But um, we got it and we cut these posts off right here. And as you can see, we put some duct tape on the joints because they were wobbly as all heck. But... <clears throat> It, at one time, we used it as a chicken pen, and it served its purpose. I don't think we're going to get any more chickens. gum! it really needs to be weed-eating. But um, as some of you know, well, for some of you, it's probably warmer weather than it is for me. But the weather here in Alabama is kind of iffy, which means one day it's cold, one day it's hot. And... It can't make up its mind, even though it's it's February, it's mid-February right now. It feels like middle of, middle of spring, start of summer, you know, it's warm. Which it feels pretty good out right now. But um, I have one video up on the channel already. It's of my turtles indoors, my musk and mud turtles in their aquarium. But here is my eastern box turtles. Now, first, I've got one very special turtle that means a lot to me. And his name is Reno. He is uh, approximately 80, anywhere from 80 to 100 years old, eastern box turtle. You see the wear on his shell. Now, this guy was hit by a car. And as you can see, the plaster work done on the shell, I had to rebuild his shell. It was literally almost falling apart. I cleaned his shell up. His, his scoots are starting to break loose now. He's so old. He's, he's calm as he can be. He's, he's a sweet turtle. Very good boy. You may be wondering what this is. This is their hibernation hut, and when it is not winter... I use it as their regular out of the sun hut. See, it's just the top of an old uh, outdoor dog box. It's nothing really special. But this one, as you can see, this is a. This one right here is the youngest. See, open your eyes, babe. This one is the youngest female. You can see the female tend to have either more color splotches or a more pronounced color splotches. And this girl right here is absolutely beautiful. This one I call... Oh, she's a little skittish. She's not going to come out right now. But I call her Bright Eyes. If I can get her to come out, I'll do a... I'll get visual of her head. That way you can see. She has the most beautiful pattern. So those are two... Of my main females. This is an older female. 
as you can see she's got a beige tan color that's because of her age the color is it starts out as a vibrant bright yellow then it goes down or as this one is this one started off orange this is one of the youngest females that i have this one being the this one being the youngest eastern box turtle this one here is a florida box turtle there's really no difference in them other than the where they come from but this is another eastern box turtle this is baby now she is the sweetest female i have ever had the other females are kindly they just aggravate the pee out of me and they're kind of hard to handle but old man he's old man over there reno he's very easy to handle and the wind's blowing my door shut it's okay it's not gonna lock but their eyes are closed because they're fixing to come out of hibernation this right here is waco and the reason I name them after different places, you know, Reno, Nevada, Waco, Texas, is because this one actually has a birthmark. I don't know. Nah, he won't come out of his shell enough. There, no, he ain't going to come out of his shell enough. But on the side of his neck, he has got a birthmark that is literally, I kid you not, the shape of Waco of the actual city and or town of waco the reason i call him reno is because he he looks like something that would come out of a he looks like a dude that just won a bar fight in reno nevada you know he, he looks tough which he is then that right there that's an old well i say it's old that's probably a 20 or 30 year old male I haven't really age checked. Dang, you've got a lot of sawdust in your mouth. Shake that stuff out. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, you're going to pull it back in there with you. This guy right here, as you can see, he's got some bruising on his shell scoot. As you can see, here, let me show you. I know, buddy. But right there where you can see the coloration changing all right in there. That's from where he has been in fights and conflicts with other turtles, probably over a female. But, so, let's do a roll call. Reno. Where you at, Waco? Waco. Then, this guy right here is, I call him Walker. Because he is the, he is probably the most active of my box turtles he's a sweet guy this is lucy let me clean your shell off baby girl this is baby dang i can't even i ain't even showing you half the things that girl right there is vicky the reason i call her vicky is because whenever she hisses you notice Especially in the summertime when they're woken when they're woken up real good. Whenever you pick them up and they hiss as they go in their shell, she's got a weird sound. It reminds me almost of a Corvette running, or a, or something. It's just the way her throat vibrates. It's really funny. But uh, the reason I call her Vicky is because of the drag race car from back in the seventies called Vicky Vet. And then, big girl, Mabel. Then, you've seen... Okay, Reno, I'm going to put you back in there. Y'all snuggle up close together. I'm going to have to put some more sawdust in here if the weather gets cold again. Let's flip... Oh man. Let's flip this back over. That way y'all can go back to sleep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for aggravating you like that. But this, this is just an old piece of pipe that I put in here. Give them a little something to crawl through. Kind of stimulate 
them being in a tunnel. I found this down at the creek back that way. And that white thing's an old truck sleeper. This used to be the location of a dog pen as well. Um, they find, they'll eat termites, woodworms, anything that they can find in there. This piece of grass, it's got a little secret behind it. You see that right there? That is a, that is a tunnel that my turtles have dug out up under that grass. And the reason I put it there with the exposed roots is especially for that. That way they would have something to bury up and they would feel safe. And it's, it's tight quarters. They like to remain tight. And let's see, have I got any anybody in here? Yes, yes I do. Dad gone, baby. There's Laura. There you are, pretty girl. Now this is an older female. She's the oldest female I had. Sadly, we lost her this year. She had bad arthritis, and there was big knots on her elbow joints. And I knew it was any. I knew it was going to happen here pretty soon. But eventually, I, I guess she couldn't just couldn't take it, and she drowned herself, which was which was sudden and it was very sad because she was one of the most well-mannered. This is Dixon. The reason I call him Dixon is because when he goes up into his shell, the skin that covers up their neck to keep their head enclosed looks like it just reminds me of Daryl Dixon. I don't know why, but the guy from the Walking Dead that's got the beard that shoots the bow and arrow, it just, the way his, it looks around his head, it reminds me of Daryl Dixon's beard. And plus, he's got a bad attitude, just like him. There he is. That's a pretty boy. This is a male. I know, shocking, the colorations and how bright they are, you wouldn't think it's a male, but... Focus, focus... He's got red eyes. That's another telltale sign of a male, is if they've got red eyes. Y'all need to go up in there as well, because I heard it's supposed to get pretty cold tonight. The reason I thought about shooting this today is because I was wanting to get a good shot of me putting them in their hide. And I put them in here, and they'll just kind of like snuggle up. You know, they'll, they'll do that. To their own devices you know they can kind of sense oh, covered up my camera sorry but they can kind of sense when it's getting cold weather and they'll just snuggle up use body heat and that right there being plastic it moisture does not it's a double layered plastic which means it's very thick moisture will not develop on the inside if i've got that pine or sawdust under there it won't do it but if i had something like sand or mulch or something like that under there then it would because mulch is porous sawdust is sawdust is just that it's just shavings it's not very porous it can't hold moisture well some of it can but the kind that i've got is tr from treated wood and that helps out a lot. And I've got a big 55-gallon drum, then another, I think, a 25-gallon drum, and a hefty garbage bag full of shavings that I haven't even used. And that's what I also use back here. I don't know if you've seen it, but that's what this substrate right here is. It's about an inch thick, but it's already packed down. But I use it that way, like, say, for instance, like these plants right here, even though the turtles bury under them, the sawdust will pack underneath them as the turtles bury, and it'll still, it won't expose the roots completely. Now, I've got this ivy in here because in, during the summer it'll start to run, and I'm hoping to get it to run up and over up there, and then maybe some up around there. I know I'm sitting under a big old cedar tree right there, so... Um, then 
I just put regular marble gravel from a quarry that's not too far from my home. And then I know the water is dirty. I'm getting around to cleaning it. It's just, I don't, I really don't want to clean it out and then the water gets so cold and the water change not take, you know. But I don't weed eat this. I don't cut this in here because the turtles eat that. And not only that, there's bugs, you know, crickets and stuff love to get in this. I don't know exactly what to call it, but I know some of it's like, I used to call these bunny ears, but it's rabbit clover. There they are. You can see it. Some of them look like little bunny, look like little rabbit ears sticking out of there. And that's, when I was real little, that's what I used to call them. But um, this right here, I think, is finch weed. This is, this grows natural. But most of all, most of the time it grows in places where it's gravel and it can actually grow towards water. And as you can see, I've got it growing all throughout here. But that right there, I don't know how that got there. That just popped up all of a sudden. That's weird. Let me see. I've got somebody else in here too. I know you're saying, oh my God, it's probably littered with bacteria. This right here is Lacey. She is my 45-year-old river cooter. I have had her for about a year now. She has got an attitude. Man, I'm trying to get her to open her mouth. There you go. She was... I gave her a bath yesterday because being in this water and having to stay in there, because that's how the river cooters hibernate. They... If the water freezes over, they freeze over with it. And I think that's really cool because no other turtle can do that other than like snapping turtles and even mud and musk turtles like the ones that I've got inside in the aquarium. They can't freeze over like that. So it's, it's just amazing. And you may be thinking that that turtle, it having the attitude that it does, and it being as big as it is, you probably think that those little those little guys over there would get hurt by this one. That's not the case. Those guys over there will give this one a run for its money. As a matter of fact, she's missing a toe. Now they've they're kindly on. They're friends now. They they get along well now. But when I first put her in here, she started biting and pushing around one of the youngest turtles that I had. And the mama of that turtle didn't like that. So she walked up and grabbed her back foot and bit, literally bit her toe off. And I did, I treated that, I took her back and I, I treated that, and put alcohol on it. And, um... I put neosporin on it because that neosporin is more or less for burns and bee stings and put under band-aids for real bad cuts. But I take a Q-tip and I rub neosporin on it and then I take alcohol and wipe over it. Because when neosporin reacts with alcohol, it crystallizes and that makes it stick to it. I don't know exactly how that happens, but I found that out just by trying different things. And I am completely humane to my turtles. I feed them on a regular basis. And I feed them a lot before they go into hibernation. That way they don't have to worry about coming out and hunting and then going back in. Because a steady hibernation is key to their survival. But I don't have to feed them as much because as you can see it's natural. There is nothing underneath this but dirt. So it's just like them, it's just like them being out there. Just being out in the wilderness on their own. Now I do, I do feed them. I'll take tomatoes, cut them up, and or just take it and cut it in half, and then they'll eat it from the inside out. You know, they'll, cause that's more or less like a little treat, and that helps keep their um, vitamin E and C up. So. Yeah, I do that, and one thing that I never, I wouldn't strongly advise you to stay away from if you have box turtles is citrus, such as lemons, 
pomegranate, um, orange, tangerine, anything that's got the veins and all like anything that when you cut it open it looks like a lemon on the inside or an orange please avoid that because that can attack their immune system and it just makes them suffer they're in agony and and i've seen people feed them that and that's it's it's almost like if you could imagine what eating raw meat and getting the parasites inside of you would feel like that it's agony i've never had that happen I hope I never have to go through that, but it's it puts them in such agonizing pain. And I cannot stand to see any animal whatsoever. Now, I'm not a snake fan, but I mean, even snakes. Even, because they're all God's creatures. I mean, they're, they're all supposed to be taken care of. And the reason I catch these off the road is because I know from experience that if you take one to one side of the road, they're just going to turn around and go back across the road. So I pick them up. If I find them on the road and they're in danger, I pick them up and I'll bring them here. I'll check them out for injuries. And if they're like real young or if they're complete, like 100% fine, I'll let them go. But like these guys right here, I caught them and they were so... I don't really know how to say this, but they were just so, they didn't want to really eat out of wild things, you know, so I started feeding them. These guys right here are dependent on me, and they've been in captivity for so long that I don't know if they could rekindle their instinct. So I'm, I'm going to keep them as long as I can. You know, eventually I might end up donating them to either a zoo or some kind of reptile facility that takes good care of them. If something ever happens to me and I was to get sick to where I couldn't take care of them, Lord willing, that never happens. I hope it never happens. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. But I... I love all animals, dogs, cats, horses, turtles, lesser snakes, I, they're okay, I just don't mess with them because they're deadly. Um, frogs, you know, anything, anything that lives and breathes, I cannot stand to see it in pain or, and I cannot stand to see it suffering. But if you guys liked my gaming channel, ZKiller003, or this particular vlog, or the one before this one on my indoor turtles, please leave a like and subscribe if you would like to see some more content. Um, and if you think that there's something that I'm missing or something that I something else that I should cover, please write down either in the comments of my gaming channel or in the comments of one of these videos. And I promise you, I look at, I look at any, any comments that I get. A lot of the comments that I have gotten are on Twitter. I don't know why. It's just a lot of people that watch like the Z Killer 003 channel. I don't know why they don't leave comments on the actual YouTube, but they have commented on my Twitter, you know, and if you feel that there's something that else that I need to cover, you know, anything at all, just be sure to put it in the comments. Every, every little bit of info and every tip helps. I just really appreciate you guys. Um, anybody who watches this, you know, if, if you want, if you're considering getting a turtle as a pet, I would look into it. I personally love the box turtles because they're not very hard to take care of. They're not hard at all. But I wouldn't keep them indoors. Honestly, unless you had the exact setup 
that's required for them. Now there are books on um, eBay and stuff, and if you live near a PetSmart, I don't know if Petco has got the books, but there is a box turtle guide, and that has a lot of the information that you will need to take care of these, both indoor and out. But also, if you're wanting something that swims or like an aquatic turtle, I would highly recommend a mud or a musk turtle, just like the ones I've got inside. Um, and again, I will be doing pretty regular videos on this channel simply because I just like being well acquainted with my turtles and I like I like I guess I like showing you know and teaching other people about wildlife such as turtles dogs cats anything that you guys want to hear be sure to just comment if you can, I mean, if you can or if you want to sub, you know, you don't have to. I'm not pressuring anybody. I'm not one of those that just says, hey, go sub to this. To, but if you would like to see more content, um, be, just be sure to sub if you, if you like this content and if you want to see more. But maybe closer to summer, I will be getting some common snapping turtle enclosures well one for now and then if i keep expanding i will get maybe two snapping turtles and work on breeding and then i might end up making you know a second enclosure but this is this has been a vlog on my outdoor common common eastern and Florida box turtle enclosure. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, my gaming channel at ZKiller003 on YouTube. Uh, I will see you guys in the next vlog. Everyone have a good one.